take you on a journey to Iceland to discover algae. It's a sustainable animal feed and can also enrich your own food. Microalgae are normally grown outdoors, but here at Algae Innovation, they have found a way to do it indoors. Let's learn how. Algae is basically just a bag of nutrients. 40% is protein, about 40% is carbohydrates, and about 20% is fat. Algae Innovation is a high-tech company and is now running the platform to grow algae strains using all the benefits from a geothermal power plant. We chose to take the sun out of the equation, which means we go indoors. We can control all the parameters for the algae because the efficiency in the system is so much more than when you go outside. We harvest continuously 24-7. We are in fact carbon negative. Our production fixes more CO2 in biomass and releases oxygen. Geothermal power plants, they drill down to get uh, geothermal steam. The steam is then condensed, it's cleaned, and it's used to drive turbines to create uh, electricity. In that geothermal steam, there is natural CO2. The power plant cleans that CO2 and provides us with that CO2 to use to grow our algae. Algae can only use CO2 that is dissolved in water. We capture the CO2 coming out or the air coming out of our system and we reintroduce it. The first algae that we're growing is called nanochloropsis. They're grown for their omega-3 ingredients. The next species that we will grow is called uh, spirulina. That's a blue-green algae. 15% of our spirulina is basically blue pigment. Natural blue is very hard to come by. Natural blue pigment can then be introduced as a actual substitute for artificial pigment once you've extracted the, the blue pigment. What's left is perfect protein to use into protein substitutes or, or protein powders. And then when the protein is gone, What's left is carbohydrates, which is ideal for all kinds of animal feeds.